Okay, so let's get into how you can get some t-shirt sales using Facebook paid advertising. I made this with my cousin in mind, and we're going to talk about some strategies that I have used in the past and some strategies that I, I would use even today. So I'm big on lead generation. Most of you already know that you've been following me for a while. However, on these kind of campaigns, because of the particular strategy that I like to use, I like to do the lead generation or a messages campaign. So the traditional ways of doing it, you can do conversions, store traffic, or you can do a traffic campaign and then retarget those people who went to your link with some sort of offer or the same offer. Myself, my approach is lead generation and messages campaign for list building purposes and to make sales. So let's talk about how I typically approach something like this. Now I don't really like doing e-commerce because it's a lot of work selling t-shirts and then diving way deep into what people are buying and why and which button and color. It becomes a lot, but if you have the time and the resources, you can definitely figure out it just takes a lot of time. And for a person like myself who knows what to do, but just doesn't want to do it um, versus someone who may be new and trying to figure it out, you may have to spend us a little bit more time trying to figure it out, but don't give up. So here is something that I would do. So we're going to come down to the budget. Some people say that five or $10 a day doesn't work anymore. Uh, they're lying to you. It absolutely does. And if you don't have the budget to do $10 ads, do $5 ads. Just know that money likes speed, right? So if you can spend more money, you can figure out what's working, what's not working, and you can hurry up the process. But if you don't have a bunch of money, that's okay. Just try and do multiple ads at $5 a day. When I say multiple, I mean five. Do a minimum of five ads at $5 a day. And if you're saying that you can't do five days out of the week or seven days, do two days out of the week if that's all you can afford. But have them run all at the same time so you can see which one is going to be the most successful. So if I'm going to schedule this, today is March the uh, 6th. So I would have the ads run the next day, March the 7th at 5.30 a.m. And because of the particular kind of t-shirt that my cousin has, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put um, ages 28 through 40 and the genders. I put all genders, but you can pro I would probably go back and put male for this particular t-shirt. And because it's basketball related, I would choose people who are interested in basketball. Now, here's the thing. This isn't my only interest that I'm going to do. I'm going to come back and I'm going to find other interests that are similar, but I'm also going to narrow the search down for people who like online shopping and narrow the search down again for engaged shoppers. People who you can see it on this right here. People have clicked on the call to action button shop now within the past week. I want to increase my chances of making as many sales as I can. Facebook is going to tell you to do automatic placements. I say don't. I would put it on Facebook and Instagram only on the feeds and on the stories. So I'm going to come over here. <clears throat> now my cousin's brand is actually the ISI brand and I'll, I'll show you uh, what that looks like pretty soon. But here is something that I did. So you see how it says free t-shirts right here. I played around with the variation. So at first I had this picture. I went to his website, uh, stole his picture for this presentation here. And then I removed the background and I put a blue background on it. Now here's the thing with testing different pictures. If I was going to do this myself, I would test a blue, red, green, whatever other color background I thought looked really good. And I would still keep this free t-shirt, um, these words up here, because on the stories, it's 
much more eye-catching to see free t-shirts up here. You see the t-shirts, and then you see down here, we're giving away our newest t-shirt to three lucky winners. So you just wanna keep people engaged, and typically the bigger the words are with pictures, the more uh, engagement you're gonna get. Now, I have a sign up button right here. You can put learn more if you want, doesn't really matter. But my ad copy is as such, we're giving away our newest t-shirt to three lucky winners. We're celebrating our new growth in business by giving you a chance to win a free t-shirt. Click the learn more button below and enter to win. Or you can put sign up button, doesn't matter. And you see my headline here. And so let's take a look at the lead form. So on the settings, I put open because you want uh, people to be able to share it. And here's the intro. Sign up and win our newest pop, uh, most popular t-shirt. And then you see right here where it says, what size do you wear, what shirt size? Now I have CRMs, but I have a hard time getting away from Google Sheets. And so for Google Sheets, what I would do is I would put, let's take a look at the information that I'm gathering. I would put a box for the first name, email, and phone number, because I want to be able to text message and email these people. And I'm going to have a column for shirt size, because I feel like it makes it a more personal conversation. If I send out a blast text message to all the people who wear a 2X, then I can send out another message in the future. And I guess I'm getting ahead of myself, so I'll go ahead and I'll slow down. Uh, so the privacy policy, um, this is... Let's go take a look here. Uh, I didn't know the Mac could do that. I'm still really new to this MacBook thing. So this is my cousin's uh, website right here. And this is the shirt, one of his newest shirts uh, that he has. And he's got some pretty cool looking designs here. So it's not just the blue one, uh, it's the red one too, which I'm sure the Bloods would appreciate. And, uh, then we have uh, some other of his new stuff right here. So, so he has he has these new T-shirts that he could, um, if he wanted to, go ahead and advertise. I chose uh, the Beats and Ball T-shirt, but you have to have a privacy policy. Have to have a policy privacy policy, and then there is the completion page. Right, give them a chance to go to your website before you pick a winner. And that way you can have more uh, traffic to your website and make sure you pick a, a winning date so that people know to stay tuned um, for it. And then you can send out other messages, you know, hey, make sure you tell your family and friends to sign up to enter in, you know, or whatever. And then here's the other strategy behind this entire thing. So April 4th comes. You pick one winner, two winners, three winners, whatever. You pick a winner. So you send out a message to more than 100 people. So I would not do this without getting a minimum of 100 people signing up. A minimum. The last time I did this, so you see this Moda Faith Apparel? This is actually my friend's company where we did another giveaway and it actually worked. People went in and uh, they actually had a few sales from it. <clears throat> so what you do is you send out a message, a text message or an email or both, and you say congratulations to Jamie from California who won a free T-shirt. Um, and then you send another message to the people who didn't win and say, uh, as a thank you for your participation, we're going to give you this 50% off coupon for anything in the store for the next three days. Your coupon expires April the 7th at 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And does it have to be 50% off? No, it doesn't. Um, it can be 30, it can be 20, but just know the higher the percentage off that you give, the more sales you're likely gonna get. And then you turn those people into repeat customers because every time you have a new design, you can send them an email and say, hey, we have a new design, you know, check this out. And they'll be able to take a look at it by clicking on the link or um, in, in link the link in their email or the link in the text message that you send. And so on the lead form, you'll see, 
I don't think we went over it, but I should have. So come back to the lead form <clears throat> and it says, Put your information below so we may contact you if you win and about our future promotions. And if you feel like that's not enough and you want to put something else, uh, put you can just add a question here. Multiple choice. Do we have permission to contact you about other discounts and promotions? And they can put yes or no. So if you want to take an extra step, you can do that. Um, I just put it right here and they know we're going to be contacting them for future promotions and for uh, to see so that they know who won. So that's it. I hope that this video helps and that you make a lot of sales from it and that you grow your list, continue to grow your list. And I'll talk to you all later. Put any questions or comments that you have down in the comment section and we'll, uh, we'll be talking to you later. Hope you enjoyed the video.